Hi everyone, today I'm quickly going to take you through solving DNA matches using the new Ancestry DNA Pro Tools. So what are Pro Tools? Well Pro Tools is an Ancestry monthly membership that gives you access to advanced DNA and family history tools. Today we're going to focus on those DNA tools. It's been a game changer for genetic genealogy at Ancestry because now we can see how our DNA matches match each other. And that can really help us if we're trying to figure out who a mystery matches. So I'm going to take you through a case study using someone called Carol Shaw. Now, all the names have been changed in this presentation to protect the privacy of living people. So these are all made up names, but it's a real case. It was a match that had arrived in my match list a while ago. I just hadn't got around to doing very much on it. Um, she's quite a high match, Carol Shaw. She matches me at 118 centimorgans. Now you can see I'd already looked at her shared matches and um, these are the clusters for my Croker and Frith family. So I could see by her shared matches that that's the side of the family she would fit in but I wasn't able to find much else about her. And I had, had done a little bit of Facebook sleuthing, um, a little bit of trying to figure out who she was. She hadn't logged on for a while, so I hadn't got around to con trying to contact her. And of course she has no tree. So let's see if Pro Tools can help us figure out who Carol Shaw actually is. So I opened up the shared matches and I was looking down and now that I've got Pro Tools, of course, I've got two columns. The first column is my match, um, match amount to the shared match and the second column is Carol's match amount to the shared match. Look at this. As I was working down the shared matches, here's LP. The first one, LP, matches Carol at 474 centimorgans, only matches me at 31. Um, so quite a small match, but this is a really good hint of exactly whereabouts in this Croker Frith family Carol Shaw might fit. Uh, uh, LP and JB both have trees. You can see the little tree icon and LP actually has a common ancestor hint as well. Now I'm going to use Watto because Watto does all this complex maths for me with all the centimorgan amounts of the matches. And I thought this might be a really easy way to put all the matches in as if I was Carol Shaw. So I'm kind of approaching it as I'm Carol Shaw. I match all these matches in Donna Rutherford's match list. Donna Rutherford has a great tree. I'm going to figure out where I fit in. So what I've done is create the water. Now I know, knew they went back to the um, uh, Frith and Croker family and I've just built up the tree. So um, here's my two matches in the tree and I've just built up where they fit. So uh, one is the great granddaughter of uh, Daisy Hamilton and the other one is the daughter of Lawrence Hamilton who's just a half brother to, um, to the rest of the uh, brothers and sisters. So uh, Watto, and I'm using Watto Plus, I really like Watto Plus, but it would work just as well using um, the traditional Watto. And I can go in, I can see that it's giving me some hypotheses here. The most likely are going to be that Carol is going to be the daughter of one of these three people. I don't know much about John Henry Hamilton, but I knew, do know that Olive Hamilton married Mr. Dean and Minnie Hamilton married Mr. Anderson. So I'm going to have a look at the record. So I'm going to use FreeMD because it's one of the um, best indexes we have for doing this type of work in the UK. So what I'm going to be looking for is in about this generation. So I know kind of the ages of when all these people were born. So in this generation, can I find a Carol Dean uh, with a mother's maiden name of Hamilton? Or can I find a Carol Anderson with the mother's, mother's name of Hamilton? And that might lead me to figure out whether Carol is actually the daughter of one of these two. So I go to free BMD and I found a Carol Anderson. Now, my side of the family all went out to New Zealand and um, we were all brought up, uh, brought up over there. My, my grandmother was quite young when they immigrated, but the rest of the family stayed in the UK and they lived in Dover. And here I can find Carol Anderson being born round about the right time in Dover with a mother's maiden name of Hamilton. I could, of course, um, 
try and get that birth certificate I really wanted, but this is enough information for me to make a hypothesis that my Carol Shaw could be this Carol Anderson. Of course, the last part of the puzzle is, did Carol Anderson, um, sorry, did Car yes, did Carol Anderson marry a Mr. Shaw? And I can find a marriage about the right time frame where Carol Anderson has married Lee, uh, Len Shaw. So this is now kind of cementing where I think Carol Shaw probably fits in my tree. And she's such a high match. It's just really useful to figure out who she is. Who she is. I could do a bit more sleuthing. So I actually went to see if I could find Carol in um, social media. And I did find her on Facebook and she was a Facebook friend of those other matches I was looking at, uh, JB and LP. And when I looked, she was uh, one of their matches, but she was using the name Kaz Shaw. So I hadn't kind of found her uh, when I was sleuthing through face, um, uh, Facebook. So here you can see, I'm pretty certain now that Carol Shaw is actually uh, Minnie, Minnie Hamilton's um, daughter. So solved. I'm going to contact uh, Carol now to see if she's interested. I'll probably contact her on Facebook um, to see if she's interested because all my uncles are actually her second cousins and they're all out in New Zealand. She may be interested in what happened to our side of the family. So um, amazing. Um, Pro Tools can really help us in this way and it helps us a little bit more than just our regular kind of uh, sleuthing through social media and um, internet search searches to figure out who our matches are. So that's it. Quick and easy. If you've got some ideas on other little things you'd like me to do and put some videos up, please like and subscribe this one on the way out. But do get hold of me. I have a Facebook group called uh, DNA Help for Genealogy UK. Um, people are welcome to join that. We focus more on the UK experience. Uh, we don't have as many matches if we've um, got an um, ancestry from the UK. We don't have as many matches as our American cousins. So sometimes there's a few extra steps we need to do to figure out who our matches are or deal with a much smaller match list. Thank you so much for listening. Really appreciate it. See you later. Bye.